My name is Alexander Dempster, otherwise alias name Bamboo King. I started doing my garden, taking up the stone and putting them together to make a wall. And the stone slightly talking to me, no, don't put me like this. I'm wondering where this vice coming from, what should I do? The stone telling me what to do, all right, put me like this. Okay, all right, I'll take off the next one and I will walk in and have it. Don't know where to put it. Oi, come here. I'm right here, all right. <coughs> I think there is something about it. Even though that they don't have life, but they are spiritual. Growing up always by myself. I hunt birds, make some look a tie for myself. My people and my parents and didn't have to buy ties for me. I was born in Manchester, ended up in Kingston and from Kingston to St. Mary and then started doing arm furniture. But they didn't know that behind the back of the head, there's more stuff. Alright, look at this one. Huh? Mr. Patrick, that's Vincent Patrick. He said to me that, not to hold back, let out. Because you're good at what you're doing. So don't keep back, don't hold back. Anything come to you, put it out. Because people can't see what's inside of you unless you put it out. I'm going to turn this into a dragon. Each time I keep finding the bamboo roots, I realize that it's more and more and more. I didn't know that the root of the bamboo carry all different types of heads. Because they turn down like this. All right, okay. That's how it go. So these are the root. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to put this one now into a different dragon. Is this a dragon? The part of a dragon? This one now is a cynic. And then here comes the master of all, the eagle. The creator inspired me to do what I'm doing. Not something that I'm thinking of, or something that I plan to do, but it just, it, in, it reached in my hand and I started it, and I thought people start to admire it. It's a great piece of work. So I'm pushing and I'm trying to go more deeper into it. This wouldn't be for sale. This one wouldn't be for sale. Because I don't think I should. But each time I found them, I'm thinking of how to put them together for them to look real. Because this one would be a unicorn with a cynic. <laughs> That's the next serpent again. And this would be a next serpent. I travel around and um, look at other crafts that I see and still I don't see any like what I'm doing. No. Yeah, this is my first eagle. 2015, right here, around the seaside there. And I start working him right down there. This, um, this part is body filler. It's not real bamboo. It's body filler. You see? I take my time to find a beak. Okay. That's, that's his nose. <laughs> the nose right there. All right. This one is snake. This is an eagle. And this one is going to be our next dragon. A, it's a cross. This is a cross. It's a cross. It's a cross. It's a tree-headed cross. <laughs> Listen, 
similar. When I'm leaving this earth, I want to leave someone with what I'm doing. Might be one of my grandsons, who can only have one son, and he's a fireman, he's in Port Marin. Right. So I know he's not going to leave that to come here. So I want to leave one of my grandsons in charge. All right, I'm going to work on one. I'm going to put in some ice. All right, I'm going to look for one that not looking that easily. <coughs> All right. It's not that hard. Okay. All right, now, time to put in I. Just like that. Next one now. No pencil. Just imagination. It might look odd to some people, but it's very easy. I'm wondering what people will think about this. And why do I choose? But is that me? <laughs> that me choose to do this. It's just a spirit. And, and bamboo is a natural, real life. The loving plant. The most loving plant you can find in the whole world. Bamboo. Yeah. They stick together, they grow together, they don't go apart, they die together. They live together. If humans should live like bamboo, they would, the world would be very nice. Okay. The bamboo is a sensitive plant and it's a spiritual plant. When you're alone, you will hear a talk, like from a distance, but when you reach you, you don't hear that talking anymore. Just like a spirit would pass in you, talking, but you don't see the spirit. When the spirit reaches you, the spirit don't talk. The spirit passes in, goes somewhere else and talk again. That's all the bamboo. That's all the work. Oh, well, no name for this one as yet. By the time goes by, finishing up, I, then the mouth. That's the most important part of it. If you don't have the mouth, you're not going to see what it looks like. Right? So when the mouth is there now, okay, then you can see exactly what it looks like. But the shape of it, I don't want to spoil it as yet. Like it does. Right? I'm figuring to keep it with this mouth and then use something to fill it, or otherwise cut the mouth and then shape it. This is varnish and solder. See the color changing? But you have to know what type of dust to use to get the color back that you need it. Because you have different types. This is cedar. The dust that I use is cedar, so it then becomes with this color. Both look colors look alike. So when I've done this now and put the varnish on it now, you're going to see it exactly. Okay. I've just only worked by myself to build my own. That's why I say by myself, just to get the, my vision completely, because mixing it all my back. I can't see myself and I can't see what I'm supposed to do. I think there's more in the woods to achieve than spending time with people. Yeah. There's more in the woods to spend time with than spending time with people. And you're going to gain more knowledge, more understanding, more experience. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs>